This is Shu Rei, a recent graduate at PhD from CMU. In this presentation, we provide an overview of our paper titled How Has Forking Changed in the Last 20 Years? A Study of Hard Forks on GitHub to the ICSI 2020 Conference. This is a joint work with Bogdan and Christian. Forking means copying the source code from the original project or upstream project, and then starting an independent development, which we call it a fork or a branch. Traditionally, people fork a project because there was a need cannot be fulfilled by the original project. So people create a fork, and the goal was to supersede or replace the original one and split off the community. There are various reasons why developers fork an existing open source project. First, variants targeting specific that are not accommodated by the upstream project is the most common motivation. Some contributors created forks when they feel their feedback is not heard or maintainers are accepting patches too slowly. Researchers have found other motivations as well. Traditionally, the forking phenomenon was rare, but there were a few extremely successful forks. Here we present some successful forking events in the timeline. But in the last around 12 years or so, the fork-based development has been introduced. This is one particular innovation originated by open source and has since spread to commercial that has completely changed how people collaborate to build software systems together. These days, there are different platforms supporting this fork-based development, and GitHub is the most popular platform. The definition of forking is still cloning the upstream and have an independent development fork or branch. But the motivation has changed. As GitHub mentioned in their document, if you are interested in contributing to the community, please fork this project. These platforms have also been called social coding environment. This way of developing has been extremely popular both in open source and in industry. For example, from the data we have collected, there are over 100,000 projects with more than 50 forks, and the numbers are rising quickly. So we have seen two different types of forks. To distinguish these two, we define the old notion of forking, meaning people create forks with the goal of splitting the community as hard forks, and the GitHub style forks, meaning forking with the intention of contributing back as social forks. Here's the timeline of some popular open source platforms. And the motivations of forking, as I have talked about before, have been primarily studied on SourceForge before the event of fork-based development. Around the same time, hard forks have been discussed controversially throughout the history of free and open source software. On the one hand, free and open source licenses codify the right to create hard forks, which was seen as essential for guaranteeing flexibility and fostering disruptive innovation. On the other hand, hard forks were frequently considered as risky to projects, since they could fragment the community and lead to a confusion for both developers and users. Studies found that traditionally forking was a weighty decision, and there was a strong norm against forking at that time. As I've talked about before, after the fork-based development was introduced, it has completely changed how people collaborate to build software systems. GitHub's encourage people to fork the project and contribute to the community. But we still observed lots of hard forks exist in the social coding sites. One of the examples that we have seen is this 3D printer firmware community. Nowadays, there are thousands of 3D printers, and actually these are all hard forks of a few original projects. And we've seen people are confused by so many similar projects and struggling about which one should be used as a starting point. This is essentially the same concerns that people had for the traditional forks. Therefore, we are curious about how have perceptions and practices around hard forks changed. And we argue that this is time to update and deepen our understanding around hard forks in a social coding environment. The goal is to inform the design of better tools and management strategies to facilitate efficient collaboration to build better software systems. To achieve our goal, we design mixed method exploratory research strategy by combining repository mining with interviews with 18 fork owners and upstream maintainers. Finally, we identify, study, and classify 15,000 hard forks. And the takeaway message is that hard fork is still a rare phenomenon. The interview result shows that the perception of forking has significantly changed compared to perceptions reported in earlier work. 
We also suggested tooling ideas to consider multiple forked projects as part of a larger community. If you are interested in the details of our study, please read our paper or watch the full paper presentation in the technical paper track on July 11th. Thank you very much.